JD again once more on a Saturday. I uh, know that you're looking at this backwards, but uh, I mentioned uh, earlier this morning when I was at Sanctuary Cove just how bad they were in terms of not taking advantage of themes. Well, this is in Surface Paradise, a brand new arcade that they're just launching tomorrow. So it's not quite open yet. There's only half that's open, but they've been very smart. It's called Chop Chop, uh, Asian uh, sort of, you know, bunch of Asian, uh, what do you call it, uh, restaurants in a wall sort of concept. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like. It's uh, very well done. I give credit where credit's due. Uh, you see there that uh, the Hilton Hotel is just about two or three doors up and I think that's it up there. You can see uh, the Hilton just there and this is the arcade that they've put, which was a dead arcade by the way. The reason I'm bringing this up and giving it some credit is because this was a dead arcade and what they've done is created a little Asian uh, street atmosphere. I won't go through the whole thing because there are some shops that aren't open just yet but apparently it opens tomorrow. But look at this. I mean this is all about theming. Really, really well done. And this is in the middle of Surface Paradise in an area that was dead. Uh, this arcade was absolutely dead. And what they've done is created a whole little street theatre. Um, very similar, I don't know if you've been at the Gold Coast and you go to Harbour Town, they've got one of these. And this is just very, very clever the way they've done it. Little Asian bar and so forth. And you'll see that they've got the red balloons on the ceiling. Uh, they've got the, yeah, it's very, very well done. I give credit where it's due. Uh, not all of it is open yet because uh, it officially opens tomorrow. But this is what marketing is all about. This is theming. This is theming, and given that there's a, a whole bunch of Asians in here, I feel like the tallest person in the world. I feel, I don't know, I feel like a... <laughs> I just feel tall. Uh, and you'll see how they've got the yellow, no, sorry, the yellow, God, I might have colorblind. They've got the red um, sort of lanterns right throughout, and it's just a job well done. I have to give credit where it's due. And the reason I'm bringing this up, because if you're in business, and you've got something that might be a bit lame at the moment, it could very well be because you're not theming. This is what happens when you theme. A lot of people in here, mostly Asians, surprisingly, uh, but uh, a lot of people, and what they've done is that they've turned a dead end, uh, really, really lame, uh, empty arcade into something that now is driving good traffic. And the reason it is, is because they've actually themed. And so therefore, if you've got something in your business that's not working, think about what you can do with regards to a theme. What they've done here is created a theme. They've created a big entrance. I've always said that, you know, at the end of the day, um, first impressions are lasting impressions. So therefore, if you're in a streetscape like this, this is Orchid Avenue on the Gold Coast, if you're on a streetscape like this, and you've got a, uh, you know, a stunning entrance like that, there's a pretty damn good chance that you're going to capture a lot of attention. The only, only thing that I will say that is bad about this, look at the floor. See all the stuff that's been spilled on the floor? This is the nightclub precinct, well, of an evening at least. And if I was uh, Chop Chop, I'd be having my cleaners out here. Uh, and if they can't clean it because the council won't let them do it, then I would actually have a red carpet. What they should be doing there, I, in one of my previous posts, I talked about fixing a little cafe that was around the corner of St. Cote by putting a red carpet out there. Well, that's what I'd be doing here. So, in other words, you've got a lot of tourists and locals coming down this main street. What I would be doing here is making sure that there's no way they're going to miss the entrance of this place because I would have a red carpet going right along the street there. I don't think any council restrictions will stop you from doing that. So, there you have it. Okay, so I just thought I'd uh, post and show you exactly what theming's all about and how it can make a big, big difference to your business. I know you're watching that backwards at the moment, but they didn't spell it backwards. It is chop chop. And if you're thinking about ways to fix your business in terms of direct response marketing and theming, then you might like to click the link above and uh, watch my free webinar. It goes for about 60 minutes and it's uh, wowmysales.com and you can get a whole lot of free information. There's nothing on there that makes you give any information. You don't have to give your email details and then we annoy you for the rest of your life. You can just go and watch it straight away. It's live right now. So if you just go to wowmysales.com and if you enjoyed this, please share it with someone else uh, who has a business. Don't share it with anyone who hasn't got a business and I think it'll do them much good. Uh, but if you've got a friend who owns a business and they could do with a bit of marketing help, uh, then you might get them to watch this, share it. Uh, and like it if you want more of these things. I'll be doing thousands of them. I'm doing 4.8 million a week at the moment. I've become a Facebook live whore, um, unfortunately. Uh, so therefore, if you want more of this, just press like and you'll see me pop up in your uh, newsfeed more often. And if you've got a friend that actually owns a business and they might need some marketing help, then uh, yeah, look at that. Isn't that lovely at Surface Paradise? You've got tickets, okay? Uh, thanks guys, have a good weekend.